Europe, can we talk about how we both just got an email that was like, do you want to come to Puerto Rico? And neither and of us like, asked yeah. any questions, and we were just like, sure. Okay, I guess we should pause. First of all, hi, I'm Lily Marston, and this is my best friend and old coworker, Jocelyn Davis. Actually, let's back up real quick. Now. One day out of nowhere, we literally got an email inviting us to Puerto Rico. Airfare, accommodation, meals, transportation. What? So who the hell is sending the two of us on an all expenses paid trip to Puerto Rico, might you ask? I had the same question, but if I'm being honest, I really didn't care what the answer was as long as I still got to go to Puerto Rico. We first got a PR email back in September on behalf of Discover Puerto Rico. Apparently Discover Puerto Rico is what's called a destination marketing organization. Their job is to represent destinations and help develop the long-term travel and tourism strategy. But for Discover Puerto Rico, let's just say it's about more than showing off just their beaches and food. The first pictures now coming in from Puerto Rico at Hurricane Maria slamming into the island and one official saying the island is destroyed. Up to probably 150 miles per hour here in San Juan. This was a worst case scenario. Maria is the first category four to hit there in nearly a century. The entire territory absolutely under the control of this category four, maybe category five storm. Officials there predict entire towns will have to be rebuilt. All of the electricity is out tonight. And may have no electricity for months to come. People who have no way of calling for help because the communication grid is down. Trudging through waist deep water as the once vibrant island is paralyzed by flood water. Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico over a year ago. Discover Puerto Rico wanted us to come visit and see firsthand just how resilient their island has been and show you guys how much progress they've made. This video is going to be about Puerto Rico, but it's not going to be the Puerto Rico that you've probably been seeing on the news the last year. It's going to be the Puerto Rico that I got to experience, and it was awesome. That's the rainforest. That's one of the main attractions in the island. I don't the think I've ever island. even been in the vicinity of a rainforest. <laughs> Is everything back open after the storm? Also, you told us that the place we're going to be staying is themed like South Beach. It's the Puerto Rican South Beach called Condado, which means county in Espanol. Very Luis funny. is very knowledgeable. <laughs> Look at the little mini signature this cocktail. Is my welcome drink. Look, it's like a wine glass for a child. I like don't trust you to be balancing so it. You need to pick it up. Coconut rum and condensed milk, which is straight up sugar. What's this called? Cold. 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 Coquito. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is really great. It tastes like dessert. It tastes like amazing. Oh. We're not gonna take the ladder. I would love to. <laughs> Now I'm um, in this glorious rooftop bar asking ourselves how exactly did we get here? So confused. We say that jokingly a lot, but like this one is just one that they say thanks well, to I'm discover Puerto Rico for the invite. I can't wait to discover Puerto Rico. Olive things that keep like olive oil or like it's both. It's like the olive oil and it's all light, like the light. I don't know if I get it. I'm going to my room. Okay, perfect. So the bartender is saying there's only 16 rooms in the whole 15. So they do not have the numbers on the door. They have it on the key and they have the key passes. Oh, that's so cute. There's gifts. Oh my God, there's a rose. I feel like I'm on The Bachelor. I just opened the curtain. How did I not realize that I have a fucking private bathtub patio? Literally the camera's hogging up. That's so funny. <gasps> Of 
of the room. Oh my god, look at this bathtub. I was really sad when I walked in and didn't see a bathtub, so this is really just making all my dreams come true. This is adorable. Real human here, so I don't know how much I'll just be like sitting outside, but like for reals, look at this default. Like, I just, what? Like, oh, they keep the alcohol outside. Okay, what's Medalla? Is that something I should try drinking? Maybe it's like the Puerto Rican course light and I'll love it. That's the best part of my room. Yes, don't believe me on how humid it is. Literally look at the condensation on the windows from just opening the door. Can you imagine? I've already definitely made myself at home. Our rooms definitely look the same, but it took me 15 minutes before I realized that I looked outside. Oh yeah, you don't yeah, have, have a bathtub. I have a patio, but I don't have a bathtub. Okay, I have a water feature. Oh, there is a water feature. I can sit out here and have my coffee in the morning, which you know I will have a pot at least. I do also have a decorative head. Head, cool. yes. It's like an old timey bathtub that's like huge. That, is that just, crazy. I open it, I'm like, it's like they knew. You know what though, I'm so glad you have a bathtub because you're a bath queen. Are you gonna take a bath right now? No, I don't think we have time. I was gonna shower, but I feel like my hair is gonna get so gross from this humidity anyway. You're gonna be Monica in Mexico by the end it's of this. It's like, look at the doors. The that's insane. Like, Over 70% humidity here, which means it's really humid. What is that a shoe made out of? Oh, corks. No, thread. I thought they were pills. It's so industrial. Oh, I don't need that. Do you wanna hang up? No. I don't need the globe. Maybe then I can like learn more about geography. We're in the Caribbean. We're by Cuba. So we'll pop over to Havana and Ooh, nah, see nah. Camila. But this shower is pretty cool. Can you imagine? This is the kind of room me and you would end up in together where it's just like, I'm gonna take a shower now, welcome to my nudity. We've talked in the past, but it seems like a lot of people just think like, oh, girls, like they're okay sharing room. Never does anyone make guys share room. No. So thank you so much, Discover Puerto Rico, for giving us our own rooms, our own showers, and my own bathtub. bathtub. Uh, even a little bit. You turn in your queue when you leave. Do you? I literally was like, so do you drop it off at the front desk? Because I'm gonna lose this. But I did tell her that I wanted to walk around and just go like this all day. She told me to drop it off in front. She it makes more sense. too big. All right, little. So from here on out, the trip was pretty much already planned. The first night we went to dinner at an amazing spot, but I didn't really want to film because honestly I was pretty tired and we were really getting to know everyone. There were two other girls, or influencers if you will, that came on the trip, and Alicia and Nati, so you'll be seeing quite a bit of them. There's also the two ladies from Discover Puerto Rico who were showing us around, Michelle and Siamara. For our first full day, we woke up bright and early and went to our first stop, breakfast. We hit up the local favorite in one of the three top rated restaurants in San Juan, Chaco Bar Cortez. The chef, who we met and was super nice, has been quoted saying that he uses chocolate chocolate like he uses salt. The menu item and tradition that they're known most for is their hot chocolate, which is served with a piece of chocolate and cheddar cheese, which you dunk in the hot chocolate. Sounded a little weird, but holy shit, you guys. Good morning, everyone. Drinking the best hot chocolate ever, but don't worry, you don't do it normally. You eat it with cheese. I already had it, it's amazing. The syrup arrived from my waffle. Normal syrup, that's chocolate. I have not consumed this much sugar in like 25 years and I feel crazy. crazy. What is it called? It's a Mallorca. It's a local sweet bread. It originally comes from the island of Palma de Mallorca in Spain and it's called an ensaimada, but in Puerto Rico we call it Mallorca because we associate it with the island. Okay, and then is it ham and cheese? It's a ham and cheese. You can get it with bacon, egg, just with butter. I do like butter. More time. Say it very slow so I can attempt to say it. Ah. Mallorca. 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 Not that bad? Not that bad. You <laughs> did it pretty well. Okay. Oh my god, it's like a savory croissant. It has the consistency of toast. It's like the flakiness of the croissant. Ooh, actually, you need to try this. Please? Yes, thank you. Yes, sure. of course. I wish I filmed that, but they were at their university about to take an exam and Doss said we were here, so they came. Thanks for saying hello, Fred. I hope you did well in your exam. Time to get back to our um, cheese grilled cheese. It's chocolate grilled cheese. And there's chocolate in this for sure in the avocado. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I'm gonna try Guys, I'm so confused. There's Just a nice, healthy breakfast of chocolate waffles. <laughs> There's fruit though. Life is all about balance. One cup of hot chocolate, followed up by five it. espressos, <laughs> then a sandwich. I'll eat kale when I get home. So after we stuffed our face with pretty much everything they offered, they gave us a quick history lesson on the origin of the chocolate company, which also decorates the walls of the restaurant. Although the Choco Bar only opened in 2013, Chocolate Cortez was originally established in 1929 by Don Pedro Cortez Forteza in his effort to develop Caribbean grown cacao to its fullest potential. Photographer. Modeling, modeling, modeling. Yes, like, can we talk about those are chocolate bars? Vogue, Vogue. Maybe don't Vogue. After breakfast, we were taken upstairs to see the Art Gallery, a nonprofit organization called the Fundacion Casa Cortez, which serves as a center to educate and inspire through the passion of Caribbean art. After breakfast, it was time to begin our walking tour of Old San Juan. And honestly, this is something I was personally super excited about because I just wanted to take a bunch of pictures. If there's one thing I knew Puerto Rico had, it is colorful buildings. Thank you. 
We made it to Puerto Rico. 